Hello, Gerslutz. This is Jan reporting from the Super Booth at the Audio Werkstatt booth, and I'm here with Olaf. Uh, good morning, Olaf. Good morning, Jan. Nice to see you, and good morning, Gerslutz. Yeah, I would like to show you what's new at Audio Werkstatt this year. We have a um, whole new series of product. In function, it's exactly the series we had up to now. All our seven uh, clock device, devices are now coming in a really stable, heavy, one millimeter steel enclosure, enclosure uh, powder coated, made in Berlin. As everything made in, as possible made in EU, the PCBs are made in Eng England and um, assembling is, um, and uh, soldering is all in Berlin and with all quality parts um, of manufacturers like Switchcraft, Marquardt, Hirschmann and all industrial quality. Um, you saw the devices last year but to show you in a very fast run through we have a clock divider, a clock multiplier, a clock shifter to shift the clock forward and backward and the MIDI restarter is for me the most important device and um, it's the device for start the MIDI clock in sync again. Perhaps I can show you very fast. We have at the moment two clocks, oh no, one clock running but that's no problem because now the second clock came in sync. I can do it again, stop the clock. And now I could adju adjust something and restart it again. Or in another mode, if the clock is running out of sync, have it getting resynced automatically. And uh, the other devices are... Uh, the ticking sound is the is the synced clock, right? Yeah, it's at the moment it's two um, drum machines running, and both only the metronome, the tick, is is uh, making audio. Yeah, and um, if you want, as an example, I can show you um, uh, the clock multiplier. We had now the number one always. Now we take the four times of the speed, start it again, and as you hear, very stable. Uh, the clock is now coming in fourth speed. So it's um, about uh, slaving clocks and then stopping a clock uh, that is being slaved so you can make changes to the adjustment, right? Exactly. Or change the machines. We use it a lot for jam sessions. If one is leaving, going home, another one is coming, you just uh, stop the slave or the master and the other um, partitions are running and still jamming and one is disappearing, another one is connecting and can start in sync without stopping the others. Okay. Uh, prices and availability? The um, a new uh, model with steel enclosures will be av available at shops. Uh, the old series, which is still availab uh, available at the moment, is also available at um, our own online shop. Um, uh, the prices for the devices will be from 130 euros over 150 euros for the clock divider and multiplier. The restarter will be 170 and goes up to 230 for a converter from MIDI clock to analog uh, trigger clock and vice versa. You can take your modular and make a MIDI clock out of it. It has a lot of um, uh, things like voltage trigger, short quad trigger can be adjusted. Um, it can be adjusted if the incoming clock is 4th or 8th or 16th or 32th and a lot of more, which also makes it um, to a multi-purpose trigger tool for analog clock divider, analog clock, clock multiplier and everything, but not in your modular system, but in a standalone box. And um, on the homepage, not in the shops, still available, is the sequencer. It's um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, made for uh, live use, for jam sessions, optimized for being fast, has no storage, no internal clock, it's monophonic, but it's for having fun with other persons and being fast and creative. Still available and uh, yeah, that's what will come and be in 2018. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks a lot for visiting.